Hi, my name is Adam Washington. And I'm his robot friend, Mr. Robot, because Adam didn't have a partner. Yeah. We're sitting in the Museum of the Laptop in Granger 208, and we'll be looking at two famous works today that have to do with perspective. Now, I'm an art history student with a general knowledge of this subject, while Mr. Robot, since I just built him yesterday, is completely new to this area of study. And the reason I wanted to do this project with him is that I thought it would be a good idea to gain these two different perspectives, since we are talking about perspective. Um, so the first painting we're going to look at is a work from the Baroque era called The Portrait of Giovanni Arnolfini and His Wife by Jan van Eyck, painted in 1434. So, Mr. Robot, I'm just curious, uh, just right away, right off the bat, tell me what you see in this work. I see two people. Well, yeah, but keep going. Well, it appears that the male specimen is taking a vow of some kind. One of his hands is up in the air, and the other is holding the woman's hand. That's an excellent first analysis. Uh, this painting is sometimes called the Arnolfini Marriage. Uh, this is definitely some kind of important event for these two people, and really nice work. Thanks, buddy. Now, do you happen to notice anything about perspective? Calculating. 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 No perspective detected. Well, I'll give you a hint. One of the coolest things about this work is found in the mirror on the center of the back wall. Calculating. Calculating. A conclusion has been reached. And what's that? The mirror creates an illusion to show us what is happening in front of the painting, from where we would be, something that the human eye usually would not be able to see. Once again, really good observation, Mr. Robot. The mirror in this painting really pushes the limits on the idea of perspective, especially for that time. We get to see from our perspective as we look at this event and the people that surround us. I can also detect the back of the couple. Exactly. So then I clearly wants to show the viewers that we're not necessarily limited to the traditional space of the canvas, but that the picture extends beyond our perspective if we can open our mind to these new possibilities. In fact, in his book, The Story of Art, Ernst Gombert says that for the first time in history, the artist became the perfect eyewitness in the truest sense of the term. Now, there are a few other things going on in this work as well. My optical sensors detect a canine entity. Nice. Well, dogs usually represent fidelity in art during this time. Would you like me to search for fidelity insurance on the web? My sources tell me that you must be very wealthy to own these kinds of benefits. You know, that's not exactly what I had in mind, but it is a good point. There are some indicators that this is, in fact, a wealthy couple. Uh, the fruit in the window, the furniture, their fancy clothing. I must inquire about the female specimen's dress. Is this a shotgun wedding? No, no, no. Most scholars actually believe that this is not a wedding, even though it's sometimes called the Arnolfini marriage. It's most likely just a portrait of this couple, and the dress is part of the fashion for that time. I see. Yes. So, Mr. Robot, how did this painting change your perspective? Prescription glasses are things that humans wear to see better. I am a robot, so I have perfect vision. You know, you're kind of missing the point, but let's just move on to our other painting. This is a work by Edward Manet called The Bar at the Folie Berger, and also changes the world of perspective in art history. So, Mr. Robot, tell me what you see in this painting. I see a female specimen at the bar with oranges and champagne, so she is clearly creating a mimosa. There are a lot of humans in the background, so it must be a pretty, as the humans call it, boss place. Okay, not bad, but check this out. This work is playing with perspective in a similar way as the previous painting. The background that you see is actually another mirror. I see. It's like a portal to another dimension. I guess I can understand how you see that, but it's more like a new viewpoint. Or that. Yes, yeah, so let's take a look at what this mirror means for us as the viewer. So we're looking at the woman at the bar from our perspective. However, in the mirror behind her, we see the same woman's reflection looking at a man from a different angle. So what's going on here, Mr. Robot? The artist is clearly trying to demonstrate the relationship between alcohol and pregnancy rates. Wait, what? Okay, what makes you say that? The subject's reflection in the mirror is not accurate. Also, there's no canine, so... You know what, let's just get back to the picture. So, this mirror shows us the reflection of the woman at the bar looking at a man from a different angle. So what Manet is doing here is introducing the concept of seeing multiple perspectives at the same time. So, like a sloth eating a fruit salad? No. Man, I think something's broken. What? 
Oh, nothing. So anyways, we're looking at two different viewpoints at the same time. One viewpoint sees the woman right in front of us at a straight angle, while the other sees her looking off to the side at a man which, from the second angle, is actually ourselves. So through this weird play on perspective, we actually can see ourselves. This kind of blows my mind, and in fact, some people are so puzzled by this that there have been attempts to see how this picture could be recreated to see the two images but from a single perspective. However, I don't think that this is Manet's point. Correct. From the strictly artistic, refined view, I think his point was to try and pop as many balloons as he could before the time ran out. Not even close. That doesn't even make sense. Yes. A large amount of humans represents joyous festivity and atmosphere, similar to the purpose of balloons. No! Manet's point is to break away from the traditions of linear perspective. He's trying to show us that art can break outside of reality, that we can see multiple perspectives at the same time, unlike anything that had ever been done before. You're right. It almost seems like there is a traditional Native American tribute going on. Okay.